Anthony. Yeah, I do have a white thing. I think there's one over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the white things are out of the eyes and the teeth are clean. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today was an absolutely beautiful day. We hit a record high of 81, which beat the, the temperature that we got in 1991, I think it 91. was, 91. It was 79. And yeah, so we beat it today. We were higher. It was a beautiful day. I went outside with Mr. Brown, and he actually took a dust bath in the kind of wet, wettish dirt. I gave him some chicken scratch, but he doesn't know how, how to scratch it. I actually went over there and scratched, but he came over to look, and he took a little bit, but the other chickens know how to scratch. He doesn't know how. He thinks he has to ring the bell, <laughs> apparently. So um, I'm going to put a little video in. I hope you enjoy the music that goes with it. I sped it up. It was really a lot longer than what you're going to see. You're going to see probably, I think, four minutes of it. But we got stones delivered today for the trailer barn. And I hope you enjoy seeing the truck delivery and Jim doing his work with the tractor, that's a different song, but they're both to music, so I hope you enjoy. Today, we're getting rocks delivered. This is the barn cleared out. You can see the big hollow of the, where the rocks need to be. The old barn is coming through. Wow. Whatever you can get. Yeah, right here or right here. Yeah, right here would be fine. All right, let's see what I can do. All right, uh, I'll get back to you and then we'll settle it. Wow. Is this the bill? Yep. Here's the bill, people. You get to see it. Oops. Yeah. Is he gonna try to drive around or? No, he sink in the lawn over there oh. trying to get by the camper. So he's gonna. He's back gonna up. back up. He's gonna try pulling up in here and backing okay. in. Then I'll go over here.
but it will be. He's still working away. It's a good thing we have this tractor, otherwise this would have been really hard work. I also have a little reading that was put into my comments and my Jim will read it. He does better than me. I can see now. Um, I went to my, before he reads, I went to my daughter's to get a haircut. And I asked her, I said to her, did you notice I got new glasses? She goes, now that you mention it, yeah. <laughs> Apparently, they, they must be okay. I've got a different shape. I, I went with a more of a square shape rather than an oval shape. That it's more I had of a before. rectangular shape, I would say. It's yeah, it's not it's not like it was, and also darker, darker frames. Everything is different. So, but apparently it didn't look different to her. She just she goes now that you mention it, yeah, and then she goes they look good. That's good, because you, it's hard to choose glasses. Well, this is a little comment, and it was kind of cute because Emmy put it in. And what she did is she did the first part in her comment and the answer to it she put into somebody else's comment. So if you were to read the comment, you had to read more comments to find the answer. So it was really cute. Let's see if you know the answer. Now here's one, but many people might have heard of it already. But kids might not have. So it's interesting to try on kids to see if they get it. It is the general rule that surgeons do not operate on family members due to the distracting emotional aspect. With that preface, here is the question. A young boy is badly injured in a playground accident and his father rushes him to the hospital for emergency surgery. The surgeon sees the boy and says, please fetch a different surgeon. I can't operate. This is my son. So how can this be? What is the explanation? If you 
or anyone don't know the answer already, I'll post it as a reply in another section of the comments. Or I will post it. Actually, she won't post it. I'll post it. I'll post the answer after you've guessed. So if you guess, then I will give you the answer if, if you or tell you whether you got it right or not. And if you don't have it right, I will tell you the answer. That's good enough. Because we don't, I won't be posting it in another comment. I'll just, I'll just post. Maybe it. we'll, maybe do it tomorrow. The yeah. answer, who knows? Or no, I'll put it in their comment if they, if they, if they watch get it, right. it. They, a lot of people don't watch all the way, but if they do, then they'll they'll see this and they'll try. I uh, had to do. I watched a video today where she was showing clothes. And um, you had to guess what the price of the out, what the item was. She got a stitch, stitch fit box, I think is what they're called, where you have a, a personal, personal person that dresses you according to what you've described that you like and the size. They send you it, and you're supposed to try it on. And then she had us play a little game where we had to guess the price. So I guessed the price. I don't know how well I did. But even the prices that she showed of what she's shown before, they're really expensive. A lot more than I want to pay. So, but they're fun to look at. Well, that's my, oh, that's, I guess that's it. Yes, that's it. So we're all done. Hope you have a great day and enjoyed this video that you saw earlier. Or enjoyed the video that you saw earlier. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank you.